Hello and well oh Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to talk a bit about Speedtree and how you can use it within the UDK. Uh, Speedtree is a program that's being uh, shipped with the UDK um, and what most people use it for is to generate realistic looking trees. Well, this is the Speedtree program. Um, you can find it the way you install UDK or when you install the UDK and it's right there compiler that's what you use to actually make the tree in the modeler you do nothing but uh, making the tree and uh, optimizing and LOD levels okay let's get to it uh, viewport window you can just look around with left mouse button uh, middle mouse button up and down and scrolling with the middle mouse button you can zoom on the right side you have the generation window uh, you use that to make the tree you can also uh, draw it off or anyway Speedtree has a drawing mode which you can use to uh, draw the tree yourself uh, maybe I'll get into that not quite sure anyway let's build a tree first shall we let's create some branches standard more branches there we go that's already looking a bit like a tree Let's add some leaves. Leaves, there we go. And uh, standard leaves. Okay. Well, you'll notice that it's becoming a bit heavy. I'll get frame lag now. Uh, what you can do to prevent that is load the material for the leaf guards. And uh, you'll do that by clicking the r small plus button on the right. Um, and you get into the textures that's being shipped with uh, Speedtree and let's just use uh, that one okay you notice that nothing happened here it just preloaded here on the right side what you can do now is click leaves uh, go to the left where you have a load of options uh, scroll down to leaves s select the plus type on the type and select material sample leaves and there we go well this isn't looking brilliantly but maybe if we change the color of the uh, bark to something other than gray maybe it will by holding control I select multiple uh, nodes and let's see blood leaf bark and what we just did with the uh, leaves we can also do with the bark but it's under materials branches and there are materials well that's already looking a lot better but still not what I want it's just it's not full enough it has a lot of holes in it and it just looks not that good what you could do is select leaves again and no not leaves select tree and spread out leaf collision what that will do is it will spread out the leaves there we go that looks a lot better or a bit better but what you get now is that sometimes leaf guards will tend to separate too much from the tree and you will get floating cards somewhere that's like this one for instance right there it's not looking that good oh, let's delete that again and what you could do this is not what you would want to do under normal circumstances because it's way too oh because you can hardly use it in game because you have add up with too many polygons is branches add another one of these um, branches and what you then do is add leaves to that okay now we have a lot of leaf cards of leaf cards leaf cards and let's just give them a texture there we go well that looks way better than our previous one the problem now is that we have way too many polygons I mean we're almost at 70k that's that's way too much for the UDK I mean it will run but not smooth or anything so let's see if we can just pull it down a little bit 
Um, what we can do, and that's actually the most or the best way to do that, is just to decrease the frequency to one. That's still filled, but not as bushy anymore. And steps that put it as one. Nah, it's too little. Let's put it at two. Okay, that just saved me almost 10,000 polygons, which is a lot. And let's just go to the branches. I mean, they all have, which is kind of interesting. Frequency, we can leave that. We'll just go to segments. Let's put it as 10. Oh, it's not going to like that. I'll put it at 5. Radial, you can put it at Three, no problem at all. Oh joy. And I somehow I ended up with one hundred and sixty thousand polygons. That's not good. Nope, that's not good. Let's see if we can put it down a bit. Hmm, apparently I can't. Well, that's strange. Let's just delete that one. It's better, and just add another one. Branches, standard. Somehow I still end up with 120k of polygons. Yeah, that's not good. In which case we'll just do this. No, okay, this is pretty decent. 10,000 polygons. I had too much issues with the other one. Let's just go with this one. Um, This current model has around 7,000 polygons, which still is a lot. We just added some stats. See if we can reduce it a bit. Put a ten, make that five. Okay, probably I won't get much more out of that. Let's see, that one's at nine hundred. The trunk's at three hundred, which is also a lot. Radial at five. Length at five, and accuracy at. 10. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's not looking too bad. Let's see what will happen if we export this to uh, the exporter and then sequentially import it into the UDK. So let's go to File, Save. Save it any way you like. I have my own. I just call it this test. And I'll call this one test as well, just for testing purposes. You can call it anything you like, but. Uh, open. Oh, I mean. Session new. Atri. Wherever you saved it. And You can leave all this as it is. Finish. There we go. You can, however, um, merge the billboards into the texture. 
then you have to select this one or you can leave it just as it is and have billboards separate I prefer this option because then I can use one material in the UDK for several trees but just however you like it Okay. Um, then you have to select an output folder I'll just put it and call it test video there we go and I'll just start with a compile compiling this will just take not that long press done and then we can go to the UDK. I already have a test map with one light and what I'm going to do now is create a new package and I'll call it uh, test, I'm so original uh, static or you can also call it speed tree and I will name uh, yeah we just create an atom set now so test again whatever done okay let's import some stuff to this one shall we import let's go to wherever you saved it that's my case test package test video there we go open and okay and now we have our tree imported great now you have to have some uh, materials so there we go and just put it under texture okay to all Okay, great. Well, the main, the most important things for me are this one and this one. So I will create a new material. Under the materials, name it uh, leaf. If you want to know more about this, see my other tutorials. I'll explain more about how this works. The material editor. Come on, multiply. Give me a multiply. Nah, there it is. And that's it goes into the transition mask. Just have to put this at masked. Oh wait, maybe it should be an ad. Or maybe not, so I don't know. Okay, so you have to use an add node, vertex color, and texture sample, and put that into the opacity mask. There we go. And you have to set the blend mode to mask as well. Apply. Let that work is magic. And let's to test material select this one for leaf card material apply it this can take a while just let it do its stuff sometimes it might look like it will jam um, don't worry it won't and there we go okay let's do something about the branches because now it's looking horrible 
create material. Materials again and bark. For this one you don't have to do anything special, just plug it into the diffuse, apply it, and close this one again. And apply it to USB tree. And you're done. I can just put it into your level. It will start out very small. I don't know why, but it just has the strange habit of doing that. And you can place it anywhere in the level. And there's your tree. It even moves. Awesome. Obviously lights have to be built, but that takes too much time. And it already looks pretty awesome. As it is. Okay, obviously it is a bit... It's not the perfect tree. That wasn't also not my intention of this tutorial, just to show you how you can make a tree using nothing more than speed tree, export it to the speed tree compiler and then import it into the UDK. Well, um, there are some optimization stuff that I showed you within uh, the speed tree modeler, which you can use to make your trees a bit smaller. Still, 8000 polygons is a lot. If you know how to use Maya or 3ds Max, it's probably worth it to build your entire t or a tree yourself. It's way lighter for the engine. Uh, it's great for your modeling skills. Trees are very hard to build, and uh, it's a good test to see how good you are in 3D. For all the other guys who don't know how to make a tree in Maya or in 3ds Max, this is a great program to use and. Uh, see whatever you can come up with. Thank you very much and uh, hope I'll see you in one of my other tutorials.